Hi, I'm Scott Noonan, the CEO of Audio Advice. I've got the first pair of Bowers & Wilkins 700 Signature Series speakers in the US with me here today. The Signature 705s. BMW Signature Series speaker releases are like a rare wine, auto, or fashion release. They only come out every few years, production is very limited, and they represent some of the best sound BMW knows how to create. Every release usually sells out quickly and becomes somewhat of a legendary high performance speaker. BMW introduced their very first signature speaker back in 1991 to celebrate their 25th anniversary. The fourth release of this signature occurred in 2006 with the signature diamond, and we are happy to announce the fifth release 14 years later, the signature 702 and signature 705. If you don't know the history of BMW as a brand, just know they are the speaker of choice for hundreds of studios around the world, including Lucasfilms, and many of the top albums have been mastered with BMW, most famously at Abbey Road Studio. Since their humble beginnings in 1966, they have grown to become one of the largest speaker companies in the world. This is what makes the Signature Series so unique. It is the result of the engineers at the R&D lab in Stenning, England, being given almost carte blanche on design. BMW has always been about cutting edge testing to develop new speaker technologies and the Signature 700 series is just full of top of the line materials and design. I'm going to first go over all of the tech that is shared with the two models, then I'll take a deeper dive into each one. The development of the main continuum driver took BMW over eight years and 70 different versions of materials until they came up with something that would surpass the low distortion and breakup levels of Kevlar, which they previously used. The color of the continuum driver is a rich silver, but the important part is how the new material behaves with audio signals. Most drivers add some flavor of their own to the signal and how they react to the sound being fed to them. Continuum holds its shape better than anything the new BMW team has ever produced. The resulting sound is incredibly effortless due to its super low levels of distortion. This lets you hear all of those tiny little details of changes in volume and tone that help these speakers sound more like real instruments. BMW developed the use of diamond dust for their tweeters in the top of the line 800 series, but wanted to find something more affordable with similar characteristics. This led them to come up with their carbon double dome technology. There's an inner and outer dome they designed using laser analysis. The small outer dome, which goes along the inside edge of the full dome, increases its rigidity while allowing the rest of the dome to be super lightweight. This design allows the tweeter to extend out more than double beyond the range of human hearing. I am personally a huge fan of acoustic music. I can tell you that when you hear cymbals or strings played back on the carbon double dome tweeter, you would think they are in the room. Everything just sounds so light and airy, it's incredible. The tweeter in both signature models is mounted in a totally separate solid milled aluminum external housing. This greatly reduces cabinet diffraction, allowing the speaker to present an effortlessly three-dimensional image. All right, so one of the things I want to do is really pause here and talk about the beauty of the speaker itself. One of the things BMW always focuses on in these signature series is making these things like pieces of artwork. So as you can see, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous speaker. BMW actually sources the wood veneers from an Italian company called Alpi that focuses on sustainable wood harvesting. To really make this come out, they put nine coats of paint on this thing. In addition, you'll see the silver ring around the continuum driver, which is matched with the silver on the tweeter. It just looks incredible. So now let me take you to the back of the speaker. Um, the attention to detail is just as high here. You can see you get the signature nameplate on it, which just adds to that extra limited edition look. Four binding posts, so you can buy wire and buy amp this, which is actually how I tested it in the audio advice system here. Uh, in addition, when you unbox the speaker, you'll see you get the speaker, you know, obviously the manual and warranty, but you also get 
the jumpers. So if you're not by wiring or by amping, you can put the jumpers in. The other thing you get that allows you to modify the base in it is you get these foam inserts. It's actually a two piece insert. So if you've got the speakers, you know, let's say they're a little bit uh, closer to the back wall or you want to reduce base slightly in the room, you can put in the ring version and put it inside here. And if you want to reduce the bass even more, there's actually an insert inside the ring version. And so you can really play with the sound fully open ported or closing out the port with the thumb. And while they just look stunning on the exterior, there's a lot of hidden technology inside the cabinet. The Signature 700 series uses triple bracing for a cabinet that is just solid as a rock. A speaker's crossover is often overlooked when people talk about what affects the sound of a speaker. A crossover is like the director of a symphony orchestra. It takes the incoming musical signal and decides what frequencies go where. There's actually a ton of room for errors that occur in speaker crossovers, but it's not something you can usually visually inspect to see if it looks well made since it's inside the speaker cabinet. The crossover in the 700 Signature Series uses their very best 800 Series level components. This upgrade makes them sound even more open and effortless than the 700 S2 counterparts, which already sound great. The 705 Signature I have here is the bookshelf model. When you put them on a great speaker stand and properly position them, they can give you an amazing three-dimensional sound stage. All right, so I just wanna show you the setup we did for listening. Uh, we've got a name integrated here, and actually, it was really interesting. Bowers & Wilkins came out with a Signature Series playlist on Copos. So we actually used the Signature Series playlist, which, by the way, you should just go check out. It's got some really cool songs for listening to demos. But we demoed the system in here, and it was really fascinating. Um, you know, I didn't know how much difference there was gonna be between the 700 series, for instance, in this case, the 705 S2s versus these. And I will tell you the crossovers have really made a great difference. So obviously they look beautiful in the system, but we played them through here and had a handful of people that are all BMW specialists come through and listen. And we were all really amazed at how great they sounded literally right out of the box. We think the 705 Signature will be one of the best possible choices you could make for a bookshelf speaker in a small to medium sized room. Their bass performance reaches down to 50 Hz, which is pretty low for a bookshelf. And you could always augment their bass response with a fast subwoofer, like the Bowers & Wilkins DB4. If your room is larger than around 13 by 18, you'll probably want to consider adding a sub or stepping up to the 702 Signature. The 702 Signature adds even more technology to its arsenal to provide you with sound that can bring on the goosebumps. First, it's a floor standing speaker with a much larger cabinet than the 705. The glossy finish just looks stunning on a model of this size. One thing to be aware of is that if you are thinking about putting these directly adjacent to a television in a theater room setup, the finish will act like a mirror reflecting light. In 95% of setups, this won't be an issue unless you watch movies in a dark room and the speakers are close enough for reflection, but just be aware. In the 702 Signature, the continuum is used exclusively for the critical mid-range frequencies. Everything about the tech used here came from the top of the line 800 series. First, the driver has virtually no surround. The material goes all the way to the edge. This reduces the mid-range coloration as there's no surround to add distortion. The driver itself is placed in a cast aluminum basket that was specifically designed to reduce resonances. Then the whole assembly is totally isolated from the cabinet with a pretty unique approach. On the back of the magnet assembly at the rear of the basket is a tapered post. Directly across from this on the back side of the cabinet is a special bracket. The post is hollow where it meets and slides over the bracket, but a spring holds it there, completely decoupling it from the cabinet. That is just taking things to the nth degree, but the performance result is a mid-range that has so much more resolution. To augment the mid-range driver, the 702 Signature has three six and a half inch aerofoil cone woofers. Yes, this is yet another special material developed by the engineers in Stenning that has less distortion than their previous woofer materials due to the way they tapered the cone in the material used. 
The combination of three small drivers gives you the surface area of a huge woofer, but the speed advantage of smaller drivers. The bass impact you hear from the 702 signature is just super fast and tight. If you want to get the best performance from the 702 signature, position them at least 18 inches off of the back wall and just slightly toe them in towards your listening chair. Be sure to use a tape measure to get them equidistant off the rear wall and angled in the same. I also recommend you install the optional support plinth if you're putting them on a carpeted surface. While it will not look quite as sleek to some, it will make them sound better with the optional spikes and prevent them from rocking on the carpet. The sound of the 702 S2 is terrific, and the 702 signature with its improved crossover steps it up even further. When you take these great drivers and cabinets and give them 800 level crossovers, the sound is fabulous. They're starting to rival the 804 Diamond, which is almost double the price. In my opinion, the 700 signature speakers are ideal for someone who wants great sound, at the same time is willing to invest more for the limited edition aesthetics, feel, and upgraded sound. As always, if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to us at audioadvice.com via phone, email, or chat, or stop by one of our Raleigh or Charlotte showrooms. If you like this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to receive all of our latest audio and home theater content. We'll see you next time.